The lumber mills of Northern California once bustled with work and noise and sawdust. Now many are quiet. Modern technology has left them obsolete. The concept of the craftsman almost dead. This is the newest piece of equipment that we have. This is a 1948 Moak 36 inch bandsaw. This is to show the world that we're high tech too. Craftsmanship and the old ways are not dead. They live in the Blue Ox Mill in Eureka, California. In this country, I believe that we have traded knowledge, the knowledge of how things are done and where things come from for convenience. Eric Hollenbeck is working hard to keep the concept of craftsmanship alive with his undying spirit and his collection of antique mill equipment. This is an 1862 Barnes Equipment Company pedal powered shaper. Eric is part craftsman, part teacher. He started with this old equipment because it was all he could afford. Now the working antiques represent his mission in the modern world. So by getting back to the basics here, what we're trying to do is get the knowledge back for our young people of how things are done. Once they have the knowledge, then they can go into the 21st century with guns blazing and use all the technology that they want, but at least know what the basics, where this technology came from, what's the, the thing that got us here, give them the power back again. Eric's power and inspiration can be found in the forests that surround his life and his home. Northern California is the home of the redwoods, the giant trees that inspire awe and appreciation. Oh, my whole life has been based around the woods. I started working in the woods when I was 14, 15. I think the trees, the, especially the old growth trees, but all the trees are really, really special. That's why I think if you're gonna cut down a tree and make it into something, then it's our job to make it into the very finest piece of craftsmanship that we can possibly make it into so that it can stay around for the next 100 years or 200 years. What we're trying to do here at Blue Ox is make a bridge become the bridge between the craftsmanship of the past and the future. The craftsmanship of the past and the future. You see, work is our, is our way of being part of life. Life springs from the mind and the hands of Eric Hollenbeck. His message is as powerful and everlasting as the California Redwoods. What I am is trying to get the craftsmen back again because I think the craftsmen are going to be what, what save this society. It's my religion, it's my, uh, it, it's my life. I'm a, I'm a craftsman, that's what I am. That's my chosen path in life. To work at the Blue Ox. It's the most wonderful thing. I, I love to work with my hands and with wood and I, when I came here it was like heaven. It was like walking in through heaven's gates. It was the, the most wonderful thing that happened to me and it started a big chain reaction. I, I started going to school actually and, and getting my life together. I don't know if it's directly direct result but I, I think it had a lot to do with it. I think that my view on life has changed since I started coming here. I think, I think partially because of some of the stuff that I've learned here from Eric and, and learned here. Um, 
while working with him. I really like a lot of his, his ideas. I think that what he's doing here, especially doing um, with the kids that he takes in, is really compassionate. I mean, he's got no other reason to do it, and it's really wonderful. The thing that we want to pass on is, number one, that they can do anything, that they can achieve anything, and, and give them hope. Uh, the facility that we have today that sits on two and a half acres. In fact, uh, Secretary Babbitt uh, was put to work there last Sunday. <laughs> was he any good? I might say it was on what is known as the old man's lawn. <laughs> yes, that's true. Um, yes, he was good. <laughs> uh, small is okay, and we need to get that message out to the community that everybody starts somewhere. The Jippo started somewhere. Uh, uh, Warehouser started someplace. Um, everybody is small at one point in time. Even the federal government started someplace. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, <clears throat> I'd like to get some of it back there. Kevin Drummond uh, takes us to the Blue Ox Millworks. It is, as it used to be, a functioning business, but also a historically accurate Victorian custom manufacturing millworks. Catwalks allow the public to see the same equipment at work today, which rebuilt earthquake-devastated San Francisco in 1906. The Blue Ox Millworks is one of only 13 operating job shops in the U.S., but it is also the most complete of the remaining job shops. We make to specification anything out of wood or plaster uh, that people want us to make. We can start from the woods, we can log the tree, clear on through to the finished product. We can run it through our own sawmill, we can run it through our own dry kills, and then make uh, whatever product is required out of it. Seven people work the millworks, producing things such as redwood gutters to any size and shape with the help of a 1912 molding machine. To get really good and really competent at anything takes time. This is my higher education, was this building right here. You see all the fancy decorative work? I did all that. I mean, it sounds like I'm blowing my own horn. Geez, that's terrible. I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> it took a lot of time to become a competent woodworker. See the tool bounce? So I know I'm not round yet. I mean years, really years. There's round. <laughs> I think we're on to something. A little drafty in the back. <laughs> we take forgotten treasures. We can do this. And give them new life. To duplicate any historic work, it has to be identical to what it was before. It can't be close, it has to be right. Yeah, you're good. I still got it. <laughs> Hi. Being born and raised right here, we have helped in the community, you know, starting a school for at-risk students, taking them into becoming productive craftsmen themselves. Bye, Eric. See you later. I'm looking at what's the next? Adventure. What's the next big thing we're going to do? 